Well, might as well get the obvious question out of the way first. No, this is not some crazy, never-ending game of Contra. Disappointing, I know, but... This is like the next best thing. It's Constant C for the Xbox 360. So this game combines a bunch of awesome things into one awesome thing. You've got cute robots in space, a la Wally, -E, some clever gravity-based platforming, a la Metal Storm, and a story about the perils of messing with time, a la Back to the Future. And those are awesome things. Those are like three of my favorite things. And it all comes together to create this fantastic puzzle platformer on Xbox Live. So I mentioned Metal Storm, but Constant is actually closer to a game like The Bridge, which is also on Xbox Live. And actually, it's even closer to this little under-the-radar iOS game called Vanessa St. Pierre de la Croix. The idea in that game is you have to rotate the entire level, almost like a Rubik's Cube, to move past the obstacles and reach the exit. And the same general principle applies to this game, as well as the same emphasis on gravity. Constant C is what Isaac Newton would have played in his spare time. And even he would have died a bunch. So obviously, Constant C is a pretty serious challenge. It's one of those games that has you staring at the level for several minutes on end, trying to think, okay, what would happen if I jumped on that thing, and then turned it that way, and then, oh, you die. The answer is, you die. But you know what? You always want to get back up and try it again. Because obstacle by obstacle, piece by piece, you're starting to figure this thing out. The progress is palpable. Then again, so are the explosions. So you play as this adorable little maintenance robot, hence the Wally, -E. and you're inside a space station that, for some reason, has gone eerily silent. It might have something to do with an experiment gone terribly wrong, but oh, why speculate? I mean, all we know for sure is that time seems to have stopped, and everything's been frozen in place. So, it's a little early to be thrown around terms like experiment gone terribly wrong. Or maybe not, I don't know, I'd, I'm not a math guy. Fortunately, you meet a friend pretty early on. The space station's main computer wants to figure out what happened, but it needs you to go collect data. So it's a good thing you're inside this bubble where time flows normally, and that protects you from getting frozen. In fact, you can actually reanimate any object you want as long as you touch it with your bubble. And therein lies the game's central mechanic. So the game progresses one room at a time, and each room is this elaborate puzzle. You have a door to get to, uh, usually some boxes or platforms frozen in time, and maybe some data to collect. From there, it's just it, good luck. You have to bubble up the right objects, rotate the level the right way, and make it all work together to solve the puzzle. The puzzles are tough, but they're always fair, not to mention incredibly clever. And when you finally get it, and you have that eureka moment, constant C is really rewarding. It also plays well too. The controls are great, the jumping is tight, and it's a platformer that feels good, which is obviously a big plus. And the game looks good too. I love the character design. Uh, even if the environments are a bit lacking in comparison, I would have liked something with more style, but it still works, as does the music, though, again, nothing spectacular. The real treat is actually the story, which unfolds via these cutscenes. Surprisingly, it's, it's cool to see what happened on this ship and what went wrong. Now, Constant C won't be for everyone. It's definitely a difficult game. And having to redo levels from the beginning just because you died at the end, that could be a drag. But at the same time, the levels are so much fun and they're so well designed, it didn't really bother me as much as it might have. Constant C is just that much fun. And if you're a fan of platformers that test your brain as much as your thumbs, man, this is definitely a game for you. It's the clever, the cute, the occasionally curse-causing Constant C. Thank <laughs> you.